A very common dish that can be served as breakfast, lunch or even dinner. Lo si fan or rice pin noodle is delicious, smooth, simple and very easy to cook. This recipe is for four serving. The ingredients are 450 grams of lo si fan, 1.5 cup of prawn broth, 2 chicken eggs, 300 grams of bean sprout, 100 grams of seafood tofu cut in small cubes, 1 red chili, 2 tablespoons of garlic in oil, 1 tablespoon of garlic oil, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of thick soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce, half teaspoon of sesame oil, quarter teaspoon of pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt, 200 grams of fresh prawns cut and clean, and 1 cup of spring onions. Let's start with marinating the prawns. Sprinkle all the salt, put 1 over 8 teaspoon of pepper, Marinate it. Put it aside. Next, crack the eggs. Always crack the egg in a separate bowl to ensure that the eggs are all good. In case one egg is bad, it will not contaminate the rest of the eggs. Oh wow, I have got the twin eggs again. We are going to leave it aside too. Next, mix all the seasonings. Put a bit of prawn broth in the mixing bowl. Add in half of the light soy sauce. One third of the garlic in oil. All of the oyster sauce. All of thick soy sauce. Sesame oil. And all of the pepper. Mix until well combined. Put it aside. Let's cook. Heat the pan to medium heat. Add in 2 third tablespoon of garlic oil and wait for the oil to get hot. Use the spatula to spread the garlic oil over the pan. When oil is hot, put in the prawns one by one. Try to place the prawns in the center of the pan where the heat is stronger. Cook the prawns for 1 minute. Use the tongue to flip the prawns to cook the other side for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, remove all the prawns from the pan. This is to prevent the prawns from getting overcooked with the noodles. Put them aside. Next, we are cooking the eggs. There is still some oil and the prawns flavor in the pan. Add in the rest of the garlic oil. Use the spatula to spread out the oils and prawns flavor over the pan. Pour in all the eggs. Add in the balance of the light soy sauce. Keep stirring until the eggs are cooked. This will take about 1 minute.
All right, the eggs are ready. I am removing it from the pan as well. Put it aside too. In the same pan, add in about 1 teaspoon of garlic in oil. Use the spatula to spread it over the pan. Add in the seafood tofu and chili. Give it a stir. These two ingredients do not have any moisture in them, so the pan tends to be dry. If it's too dry, add in about 3 tablespoons of prawn broth. Stir fry for 1 minute or until the seafood tofu is cooked and the chili is softened and has released its fragrance. All right, it is ready now. Switch off the heat. Remove them from the pan. Set them aside as well. Next, we are cooking the low sifan or rice pin noodles. Put in about 1 teaspoon of garlic in oil in the pan. Switch on the heat to medium heat. Use the spatula to spread it all over the pan. Add in all the low sifan. Stir to mix the noodle and garlic until fragrant. Now, pour in all the pre-mixed seasonings. Stir for about 30 seconds to ensure all the seasoning and low siphons are well combined. Add in all the prawn broth. Give it a mix. Cover the lid and let it simmer for 8 minutes. While simmering, give it a stir once in a while to ensure that low siphons are cooked evenly. After 8 minutes, open the lid. See, the low siphon is quite dry and gravy is lesser now. This is what we are looking for. The remaining gravy will be absorbed by the bean sprout and the other ingredients. If there is still a lot of gravy left in the pan, continue to cook until it's mostly gone. As the fry low siphon should be no gravy dish. Next, add in all bean sprout. Mix for about 30 seconds for a nice and crunchy bean sprout. If you like it softer, you can cook it slightly longer for about 1 to 2 minutes. Next, add in all the ingredients that we have cooked earlier. Seafood tofu and chili, eggs, and prawns. Cooked prawns tend to release some liquids if we leave it for a while. Remove all the liquid before adding the prawns into the low sea fan. The balance of the garlic in oil and all of the spring onions. Mix for 30 seconds. Mix for 30 seconds or until well mixed.
switch off the heat. Now I can give it a taste. Oh wow, super delicious. At this stage, you can add in more seasoning as preferred. This dish is already perfect. The stir fry lo si fun is best served immediately once it is cooked. Wow, it looks so yummy. I can't wait to eat this. Let's eat. Mm. Super delicious. Very tasty and rich with prawn flavors. Lo si fun is so smooth. It is so satisfying to eat. The prawns are sweet, fresh, and cooked perfectly. The bean sprouts are crunchy. All combined, it is super delicious. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more delicious home cooked dishes like this. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye bye.